and today we're at my mom's house and I'm going to show you what we got for sale and the house is for sale too so you never know one of you out there might want it so anyways I will show you around the house and we've had a couple come in and talk about the house and then also I had a couple come in and buy a few items so we made 40 bucks so far and it's still early so here we go okay so this is what we got here I got her tables here we got and those three pretty much go together unless you know somebody wanted to separate them or whatever we got candles and a little bit of everything here and I got a case here that had his cars in it I'm not gonna keep it's got a little crack in it you can see the little crack from drilling it into the wall but it's too big for me so I don't need it and the pictures on the walls we're selling those and we're getting rid of them and she has her wicker here that we got and you'd have to come down and get it I don't deliver sorry <laughs> so you have come to Florida which is so painful coming to Florida with this heat it's like a hundred degrees here so you would want to stay in the air conditioner that's for sure and this is the lanai that's back in here kind of showing it off a little bit um, you got a little divider thing there for five bucks and she got a bookcase here that's nice oops trying to zoom it out I like that if I had a place to put it I'd probably keep it but I really don't at the point if I don't sell it then I will put it in the shed and put, and uh, make room for it later when she gets her own room and that's a little hutch there cute little hutch this is her pineapple bed that she had, king size pineapple bed. It's pretty well good, except it has one little damage here, just a little bit. You could probably take one of those markers or something and fill it in. But otherwise, that's the only spot that I see on here that's been a problem. Everything else on that bed is fine. And we're selling, of course, vacuum cleaner. I think everybody has this vacuum cleaner for sale now. And we got a filing cabinet here. So, pretty good. And we'll go in here. Uh, let's see here. We'll go right in here. She's got these. I have to put prices on this stuff right here yet. I haven't done that yet. She's got silverware. My grandmother's silverware, which is her mom and uh, you know nobody wants it I don't want it because all you got to do is clean 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 it so I don't have time you know it, I have a couple pieces of it and that's enough for me and then we have some stuff over here I'm just kind of showing you a little bit and she's got all these dishes now I haven't priced them yet I don't know what I'm going to put on them she's got these blue dishes these are real they are good dishes. They're very pretty. Um, I was going to give them to my daughter and she hasn't picked them up so I don't have time. So if she don't pick them up, she don't get them. And then I have these ones here. She used to use these a lot too. Um, what's a thing on there? I think you can see it. And, and that lock this door. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Thank you. And then take a look around. There's prices on it. Hi. How are you? On almost everything. Uh, I'm taking offers. So don't, don't be shy. And then we have this room. She has an iron headboard, which I really have. Uh, she wants 125 for it. It came from Canada, and the fact it was made specially for my parents. And it was um, made from a guy in Niagara Falls, and he has passed away. 
And so it used to be black and my dad painted it white only because of the dust from the black. It's very heavy, but it's for, you could use it for a king, but they used it on a queen bed a lot. So I got that pretty picture right there. I love that picture. I wish I had a wall space for it. I think it's a really pretty picture, but I really don't. You know, when you live in a small place, you don't need all this stuff, so unfortunately and then there's a dresser and a mirror there you go this is the spare room here so so you get an aspect of what the house looks like if you're interested in it you can always contact me and I'm going to show you show you the bathroom this is one of the bathrooms here and we have a lady in here looking at the stuff so that's good and we'll go into the bedroom and show you the bedroom. And here we go. I got a big dresser here. I'm trying to get rid of that sucker. It's very heavy. It's solid wood. And it needs to go. And then, of course, I have a hospital bed, which goes up and down, and it rises. So it's one of them, which I know are very, very hard to find. Um, most of them only do the two and then they crank to go up and then I had her a single bed that I had bought her because she can't get into the king size and neither could he so I taken the mattress I'm using it down at my house and but I'll leave the box with the with the bed so it looks pretty good I don't know if you can see it there you go so and this is the main bedroom here and right here you got the closet it's a walk-in closet in the room nice and believe me you can pack a lot in it because I had to take it all out and it took forever they had anything and everything in there and then you have in you have your wife your other bathroom here and it has a walk-in shower and you have your bathroom Right here. Pretty cool. I would show you the pool, but it's not really presentable at this point. We have to get it fixed, and I don't think anybody wants to look at a green pool. <laughs> but, um, and then... Thank you. Yes, so it seems that there's always more paper than you want. I know it. I know it. And I'll show you out here the garage. Okay. And we'll go out here to the garage. And... You can see here as I got a mess on my hand. And it's slowly coming, slowly coming. And there's the hot water tank and all that. You got all that up there. I'm not going to take those shelves. I'm going to leave the shelf, those shelves here. The one that's way up there I'm taking for Shea Bear. He's going to use it in the garage. Um, this, uh, these other ones I'm just leaving. I don't think we'll need them after I get that one down so it's a nice home she's asking 110 for the house um, I, I'll show you the pool but I'm sorry it's green be prepared um, but it just needs the filter and a, a band for the uh, filter and we'll get it running but it's a nice little pool nice deck out here and um, I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. I'm just putting it on the side of the road, the garbage stuff. And then you have your utility shed back here, which is nice for your yard stuff. Like I said, he had lots of stuff. And then you come out here, and this is the backyard, which is nice. Nice little area. It's a gated community, and you're right across from Walmart here. So. Um, a lot of them take the, if you have a street legal golf cart you can take your street legal golf cart right across the road and you can go to Walmart you can go to Denny's you can go to Publix you can go to Winn-Dixie you can go to many many places with your golf cart um, or you can drive so they have a big huge swimming pool here too it's an Olympic sized pool which is a club clubhouse they have and um, 
they have a restaurant here, I believe, too. And, um, do they have a golf cart? Yeah, they have a golf course, and they also have baseball and activities and all kinds of stuff here. So, uh, it's a nice gated community. And the neighbors are pretty good. They've been helping me out a lot. And they're older, so, you know, it's, it's a blessing that I have them, really, to help me. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you around and let you know what I'm doing. And I guess that'll be it for now. We will, whew, sorry, hot up. Um, I'll stay tuned for a little while and let you know how, how the sale's going. Uh, I think if you don't get them early in the morning, that's pretty much it. But we'll see. I had a few things go, but not too much. <laughs> Need more. A lot more. Anyways, thank you guys. Mikey says she's out for now. Bye. Right. Okay, guys. Well, it's near the end of the day. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I guess. And, well, a lot of people came. A lot of people were interested in the house. Which is good. I might be able to get the house sold quicker than I will the furniture get sold. So, um, we didn't make a whole lot of money, really. So, we'll have it tomorrow again. And we'll just keep pushing and pushing until we can. Um, I know the virus is probably not helping this situation at all. And, yeah. you know, a lot of the people in a gated community already have a lot of their own furniture. They don't need that. They look for knickknacks or, or tools or yard stuff. And I'm going to have most of that down at my house. And so it's just easier to do it from there. Um, you know, I can't allow people, they won't, they don't allow anybody in from, from out of, out from the gate. So, um, we can't have a community yard sale because of the virus they had. So, we have to wait on that. Yeah, it would have been nice if they would have done one, but I don't think it's going to happen. Woo! Hit the wrong button. But I don't think it's going to happen until things start settling down a little bit more. So, anyways. I thought I'd take you along a little bit today, and I'll be doing this again tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'll do a video on it. Maybe Saturday we'll do one, so you can see what we got through all the knickknacks and stuff like that. So we'll do that at the house. All right. So Mikey says she's out for now. Y'all have a good rest of the week. If I don't do another video, and take care. Bye.